Welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 with me, Jerupidus, and we are on our way to go to the Paralysis apartment to continue the storyline with them. But before that, let's go ahead and read some shards. Uh, we've got an archive conversation. Uh, Stannis to 24 recipients. I must have missed this when I picked it up. First things first, keep your traps shut on this. Anyway, our story goes, the animals jumped goose and stole those high-tech implants he was transporting from the tigers. And don't go feeling sorry for the guy. He was a good chum, but started getting too fucking smart. Tigers should buy it. Goose got zeroed for real. But none of you fuckers say a fucking word to them or go prancing around with those implants. The whole hall is going to the Soviet motherland, okay? And then Juice, top eight dangers. Uh, Juice, the animal's favorite drink, a miracle elixir, the dream come true of every scrawny, twig-limbed skeletor that dreams of having boulders and chesticles. But is it safe? Apparently, it poses particular problems for men. Eight problems, to be exact. Here are the top eight dangers of using juice. Number eight. A temporary increase in sexual ability followed by a sharp decline. Men are also at risk of priapism, perpetual erection. Sounds shimra, but it could be painful. Uh, gynecomastia, i.e. enlarged breasts, often irreversible. Balding on the head, but increased hair growth on the chest, back, stomach, and legs. Changes in your skin, such as acne on the face and shoulders. Kidney problems caused by increased protein content in urine. Kidney scarring may be an indication of focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. Glomerul glomerulosclerosis. I'm done with that word. Uh, muscles may grow asymmetrically, often leading to muscle weave tearing. Prostate cancer, it'll hurt every time you take a piss, and, you know, you'll probably die. Uh, and finally, the winner, liver failure resulting in jaundice and pruritic rash, and even fibrosis and cancer of the liver. Still interested, not scared of the risks? Well then, good luck, and see you in the hospital. And let's read the Odyssey. Okay, here we go. Say what thy birth, and what, and what the name you bore, imposed by parents in the natal hour. For from the natal hour, distinctive names, one common right, the great and lowly claims. Say from what city, from what regions tossed, and what inhabitants those regions boast. So shalt thou instant reach the realm assigned, in wondrous ships, self-moved, instinct with mind. No helm secures their course, no pilot guides. Like man intelligent, they plow the tides. Conscious of every, co conscious of every coast and every bay that lies beneath the sun's all-seeing ray. Though clouds and darkness veil the encumbered sky, fearless through darkness and through clouds they fly. Though tempests rage, through rolls the swelling main, the seas may roll, the tempests rage in vain. And the storm god that o'er the waves presides, safe as they pass, and safe repass the tides. With fury burns, while careless they convey, promiscuous every guest to every bay. These ears have heard my royal sire disclose a dreadful story big with future woes. How Neptune raged, and how by his command, firm rooted in a surge, a ship should stand. A monument of wrath, how mound on mound, should bury these proud towers beneath the ground. But this the gods may frustrate or fulfill, as suits the purpose of the eternal will. But say though what waste regions hast thou strayed, what customs noted, and what coasts surveyed. Possessed by wild barbarians fierce in arms, or men whose bosom tender pity warms. Say why the fate of Troy awakened thy cares, why heave thy bosom, and why flowed thy tears. Homer. Fantastic. And it looks to me like we're pretty caught up on this. But let's just go ahead and scroll through. This is just ever-growing. Okay, Kibble and Scop. Let's see. Ah, uh, there's a few more. We'll come back to it then. Yeah, if that was the last one, we we would uh, probably just go ahead and do it, but we'll uh we'll come back to it. So let's head over to the paralysis apartment now. And I kind of like doing these because I think it's a fun contrast when we get to hang out with these people who live in places like these luxury apartments. As opposed to, you know, having just hung out with River in what is uh, certainly not a luxurious environment. Hey, we're upstairs. Thanks. 
Yep, we'll go ahead and pop up there. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, we're um, talking about the cornerstone of my platform. I'm not doing You'll a U-turn just because night corner. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. Kind of feel like you're not supposed to say powwow anymore, but anyway, let's sit down. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So, unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. That's interesting. So why are you asking me? Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Yeah, honestly, we're probably a better detective than most of the actual detectives in Night City. So did you notify the cops yet? Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know, NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security okay so is anything missing intruder take anything uh, break anything nothing missing I haven't noticed any damage either Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything or he wasn't here to steal so can you describe the intruder for me what did the intruder look like I can't remember much it was dark he was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. All right, and when did you come to? Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? No. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. Yeah, that's definitely very strange. Okay, so did SSI have anything to say? Security look into this. Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? I wouldn't rule it out. Um, so let's just say no clue yet. No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the polls do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. All right, is there anything else I should know? Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. 
Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure Veal turns something up. So, you got all you need for now? I need to have a look around. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. You gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. I'm not really sure I like these people, but... Come on. Let me show you around. I'm still gonna do the jobs. Um... Let's have her lead the way. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka... So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Yeah, that would be good. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Okay, I just wanted to grab this Avian Extermination Act. We've already read that. Um, so what about this? <laughs> Tide bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Okay. And what about this computer? This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Well, let's go ahead and read this stuff anyway. So, new campaign ad from Jefferson Perales to Leah Patel. You know what, Leah? I hate this commercial. I really do. A gun? Shooting a stack of legislation? It doesn't get cruder than this. What happened to running a campaign based on dignity? On giving my voters the respect they deserve. And from Leia, Jeff, with all due respect to you and your voters, these commercials are wedged between Watson Horror and Guns and Horses. Your commercials need to communicate with voters in a language they understand. I suppose that makes some amount of sense. And Mercenary, from Wallace, Chief of Security, to Jefferson Perales. Mr. Perales, your wife has informed my employees that you intend to hire a mercenary in regard to the dubious circumstances surrounding Mayor Ryan's untimely death. I understand your concern, but I can assure you it is best to leave the matter to the police. Should you have reservations as to the police's integrity, then please consider allowing my people to look into it. On behalf of my team, I can ensure total and complete discretion. But they decided to hire me anyway, so that's interesting. And debate's important concern from Eric uh, Boucher to Jefferson Perales. Hey Jefferson, I'll need you to toss a glance at some of the key aspects the program, in particular, my suggestions concerning their anti-corporate stance. I feel like we haven't been on the same page about certain things recently. And from Jefferson... Eric, your tactfulness can sometimes be seriously annoying. And from Eric, as your chief advisor, I feel obliged to tell you this, Jeff. I know how important the public's perception of you is, but if you continue to antagonize the corpse, you'll be depriving this campaign of sources of potential funding and leaving us vulnerable to attacks by much more powerful actors. Don't make matters worse, Jeff, please. And from Jefferson, it's a question of sincerity, Eric, of staying true to one's ideals, uh, not about pandering to the public. Besides, do you think I'm some kind of amateur? I know where the limits lie, and the corpse know it too. I know how the game is played. Set your mind at ease. Good night. And from Eric, fair enough. It's just that lately you've been acting a little bit unpredictable. Don't get me wrong. I know it's a position that's taken us a long way. I'm just worried you'll cross the line at some point. Anyway, remember to get a good night's sleep. You'll need a clear head. That is interesting. I wonder if this was before uh, he had that break-in, because... He told him he was going to sleep, and then he says, remember to get a good night's sleep. So that's that's interesting. Eric Boucher. And what happened from Jefferson to Eric? Jeff, could you explain to me why Leia's still here? I thought we let her go. Did something change? And from Jefferson, I don't follow. What are you talking about? And from Eric, well, she's just here like nothing happened. She sent me a new ad today that apparently you approved. Am I going crazy or something? From Jefferson, Eric, what the hell are you on about? Who told you to fire her? Because it most definitely wasn't me. If you've got something against her, then speak up. As far as I'm concerned, Leia stays. Not like she was going anywhere to begin with. Pull yourself together, Eric. And Eric says, okay, I must be imagining things. Forget I brought it up. Ha. Huh. So I feel like something is going on between Jefferson and Eric, but it could be Jefferson 
having something going on with him and Eric not understanding. And let's check these files. And I'm just watching this, but there doesn't seem to be any sound. I kind of wish there was, but maybe we can glean something just from the video. Yep, so that's where he takes the gun. Shoots the legislation. I gotta say, I kinda like the commercial. Okay. So what else can we see in here? Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, I miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. How did she end up over there? <laughs> and is there anything else I can see in here? Okay, something over here. Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Okay. Not really seeing anything else in here. But let's just double check around it just to be sure. This is a nice little patio they got. I approve. Okay. Thought I saw something for a sec there, but apparently not. So what do we got here? Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. All right, follow the blood trail then. But I don't see anything. Bullet holes. Caulked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. Hmm. Of course not, she says. You're welcome to go up to the roof if you want. I'll wait here. Sure thing. All right. Let's check it out up here. So what about this? Odd. Text practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. All right. I mean, they said line of sight. So follow the cables. Weird, you can usually open these. Okay, well, 
Let's see. Cables come down this way. There's a lot to this. Like, I feel like I would be able to see... Yeah, right over there. Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is all this for, though? Fuck if I know. But my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? Okay. So we gotta follow the cables. Cables lead here. Gotta be another way inside. Sharp eye, Johnny. All right, so find another way into the locked room. <sighs> we'll check around this. Yeah, I think it's the, like, right past this. Yeah, so it's this thing here. Okay. So maybe I gotta get beneath it, it looks like to me. Because it's right past this wall here, I think. Uh, okay, let's ask about this. Is this Jeff's gun? Iron. This, this Jeff's? This is where we sleep. Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Uh, anything change in here? Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary. The bedding, its arrangement. Any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. All right, you mind if I have a look? Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Okay, all of that checks out. Something down there. This was my den before the campaign. A place to focus, relax. Doesn't look it anymore. Security had to set up somewhere. One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the first, but it won't be the last. Okay, well, let's check this out. Uh, I don't know the code. Should I jack into it? Well, she apparently doesn't mind me doing that at all, but that did clear it, I think. Yeah, here we go. Okay, maintenance procedures. 
Uh, from Wallace Chief of Security to Pirella's Family Security. To all teams, we're coming up to our scheduled maintenance works. You know the drill. Only one necessary agent will remain on site. In the meantime, the security system will be switched off and scrubbed clean. Interesting. And mercenary on site. From Wallace to Pirella's Family Security. To all teams, despite making my reservations known, Target Alpha has decided to contact a mercenary to look into a political matter. Though Alpha's worries might be justified, an outsider on the site raises serious concerns. If you encounter the mercenary in question, do not talk to them unless otherwise instructed. Regardless, carry on with your duties in accordance with standard procedure. And let's check out the files. File deleted, file deleted, file deleted, file deleted, and file deleted. Okay. And local network. Let's open this door, whatever it is. Oh, and I want to... Surveillance system. Let's go remote takeover. And we'll see what we can find through all these cameras. Maybe I can get into that locked room. Alright, I'm not really seeing anything on this, so why don't we get out? So we do still need to follow the blood trail and find a way into that locked room. Let me just try to get my bearings again about where that locked room even was. Alright, why don't we read this? Dad's campaign from Elizabeth to Zochi. Honey, I really appreciate how much you want to help during your academic break, but I think it's best if you stay where you are for now. Everything here is under control. You should spend this time focusing on yourself. Take advantage of everything Europe has to offer. Love, Mom. And from Zochi, uh, I get it. This is about me becoming a target if I get involved in the campaign. I heard Ryan died of a quote-unquote heart attack. I'm not a gonk. I know that Night City mayors have a habit of leaving their jobs in a coffin. It's fine, don't worry. Just watch out for yourselves, all right? And do what your security tells you. Okay, and help with a private matter. Uh, to Judy. Interesting. Uh, Dear Miss Alvarez, I'm writing to you on behalf of Jeff. There is a sensitive matter for which we could really use your skills and expertise. Full disclosure, I'm hoping that you'll return the favor Jeff once did for Mox. Can we count on you? And from Judy... Uh, I'm not sure if I can right now. Can I ask what this is about? And from Elizabeth, it's about a certain brain dance. I'll be honest, the matter is of a highly delicate nature and discretion as much as professional analysis is paramount for us. Time is also of the essence, so I'm hoping for a prompt reply. It goes without saying that you'll be well compensated for your trouble. And from Judy, believe me, I would if I could, but my hands are really tied at the moment. I know someone you can call, though. He's a merc, known quantity at the afterlife, does preem tier work. They call him V. I'm sure he'll be willing to help. Thanks, Judy. And uh, thank you for the referral. And little favor, need confirmation from Eric to Elizabeth. Hey, Liz, sorry to bother you, but did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Leia Patel? One day, we're both in agreement that she has to go. The next day, when I bring it up, he says he has no idea what I'm talking about. To be honest, the whole situation baffles me a bit. And from Elizabeth, uh, don't worry about it. Jeff explained everything to me. The truth is, what you agreed on just slipped his mind, plain and simple. Stress, I presume. In any case, certain circumstances have changed in favor of Leia remaining where she is. Please excuse Jeff, and let's just let's all just put this matter behind us. And from Eric, understood. Thanks for clarifying. But that still doesn't make sense. He definitely didn't just forget. Jefferson, You've come a long way. To get from Haywood all the way here, it's no easy thing. Yes. If you aren't born with a silver shard, your chances are slim. And if you're born in Haywood, they're almost non-existent. Okay. I thought that said Arasaka Law School for a second. I was like, that would be nuts. All right. Looks like we've scanned everything we possibly can in here. So let's keep going. This this is huge. Like, we have so much examining to do. Well, 
wedding pic. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> blue roses? What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. That's weird. They both keep forgetting stuff. Man, are they like imposters or something? Okay, I think we've already been in here, but yeah. Discharge booster. Someone's been pulling all-nighters. Either of you use energy boosters? I don't. Not that I know of. Jeff, maybe? He works so hard. But it wouldn't be like him. He's always been against using any substances. Any? Nicotine's a substance. Jefferson has never smoked. Really? Could have sworn I've seen him smoking. Jeff? No, never. He doesn't go near the stuff. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay. Alright, so we've gotten that one. To be honest, I don't even remember where the blood trail was at this point. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna keep kind of trying random rooms. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. What was that? No fucking clue. Felt kind of good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. Does that happen to the screen a lot? Or to any of the others? I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No. What? Okay, never mind. What is going on? Okay, so we found some kind of cleaning solvent there. Uh, scan to find where the trail of blood leads. I mean, it looks like this way. But maybe not. So maybe this way. Ah, so this is the locked room. Okay. Jesus Christ. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. Under my own roof. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. So have they been stealing their blood? What is happening? Used meds. True to make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me.
All right, so what do we got in here? Rewiring synaptic pathways. All right, let's read this. Chapter one, the, furo, the future of neurotechnology. We're, the 21st century heralded a worldwide revolution in neurotechnology. We as a society can no longer imagine an existence without technologically heightened senses, enhanced memory capacity, and pain modulators. By linking our neural systems with computer chips, we are capable of learning complex skill sets in seconds, then subsequently forgetting them again the instant they are removed. Today, after nearly 80 years of increasingly incorporating these technologies into our daily lives, we must now ask ourselves, what comes next? In recent years, the academic community has reignited discussions on possible new methods to influence brain plasticity. Is it possible to create permanent neural pathways using coprocessors? Can we expect a breakthrough regarding dopaminergic data manipulation in our lifetimes? If so, what will be the consequences? The probable emergence of commercially viable artificial neurotransmitters would undoubtedly reshape the health science field that would simultaneously introduce a potentially destructive tool to most governments and corporations. The field of plasticity manipulation remains in its infancy, but most experts agree we should prepare for a future in which such neurological rewiring will become as commonplace as the cybernetic implants used so pervasively today. Studies should begin exploring now how science can adapt our bodies to optimize the effects of this technology while minimizing its abuse and potential unwanted side effects. So I feel like something like that is going on here, like they're rewiring their brains to get what they want from them or something. So this was the smart glass that we touched that was, like, mentally manipulating us somehow. So let's go ahead and scan the computer. Scan the strange computer. Well, first I want to check out up here. Because that will get me back outside. Okay. Okay. So let's read all these. Uh, report Operation Condon, entry 0987. Typical behavior of the target exceeds acceptable variation range. Alpha has started using stimulants, most likely due to heightened stress induced by recent event. I hereby authorize ampl amplification of neural dampening. So yes, that is what's happening. Okay. And then Operation Condon, entry 0993. Despite objections from the Chief of Security, Wallace, Target Alpha, has contracted the services of a local mercenary. This qualifies as an extreme deviation from acceptable behavioral norms and calls Alpha's general stability into question. I hereby request emergency maintenance. Uh, requesting maintenance, request to proceed with, proceed with Operation Condon, Target Alpha, has been approved. A joint maneuver will be conducted with Team Orange. Entry 0995, mercenary contracted by Alpha has appeared on site. Field agents from Tier Orange have successfully avoided contact. Orange reports that the mercenary does not pose any threat to the operation. Well, you kind of maybe got that wrong. And suspension of Operation Condon. An extreme behavioral deviation occurred while conducting planned maintenance procedures. Field agent Blue 66M was severely injured by Target Alpha and evacuated by Teams Orange and Black. Operation Suspension Protocol has been initiated and only Team Orange is to remain on site. Team Black will continue observation until normal operations can be resumed, which will not occur before the audit and report summary from Team Blue. Okay? But I still haven't been able to scan. Here we go. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. All right. So I want to follow the cables, right? And that's probably going to take me to where I was before. But let's just double check. I would like to check it off if possible.
Yeah, like they go here. So maybe that's just gonna be something that doesn't want to get checked off. Yeah, because then I'm here, and I think those are the ones up on the roof. I can't go any further this way. So, it looks like I'm not going to get to check that one off, unfortunately. Yeah, like, we did this part already. Okay. Moving on, then. Uh, this is way bigger than we thought. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. Found an odd transmitter on the roof. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Uh, certainly could be. Could be. The tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah. About to pay them a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. All right, and let's go ahead and leave. I'll select that one. If I even remember to get out of here, I'm amazed at how huge this apartment is. <laughs> Let's get uh, the surveillance van selected. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. Okay, good idea. Yeah, let's take the cool car. thing is sweet. I'm... I felt like I didn't care about the cars, but now that I got a pretty cool one, I actually love it. Really hard to, uh... It, it has very bad traction. And there it goes. Oh, and it just keeps selecting follow the cables. That's so annoying. Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corporal conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corporal spies or who the fuck knows what. Okay, this isn't too tough. But 
But I wonder where they're gonna try to go. Like, will they end up wrecking it or something? Where will they stop? Keep it together, keep it together. You look at politicians and see a curated display, but behind the scenes it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, the string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blood rig elections. This can't end well, Johnny. Yeah, I wonder where they're taking us. behind it like it, it doesn't seem like it's just the security company me a rat. all right let's back out of here all right let's start with the breach protocol And then, let's go Contagion, see if we can't hit more than one person. That was a pretty good grenade shot, man. Uh, let's do a ping. Ah, uh, yes, the always convenient reload. Just gonna keep strafing. Can I get a look at one of these windows? Still a lot of them. Oh, I got hit by a car? Are you serious? You're not going to want to uh, come up on me when I've got a legendary katana. This thing is sweet. Uh-oh. They don't seem to be working particularly non-glitchy. But there are a lot of enemies here, so I'm just going to play this as carefully as possible. I tried to hack it, but... So 
this kind of looks like Maelstrom. There's still one more, it looks like. Let's take all the stuff first. But that was a pretty intense fight. I uh, definitely drove right into their trap, so <laughs> that was not the uh, least gonk thing I've ever done. So let's check into this first. And then I need to connect to the van's access point. Pierced we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. I mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm hmm Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs with size and paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Damn. I wanted that data. I was wondering if maybe one of them would end up being Holt. I didn't see him on there, but maybe I missed it. But, like, maybe they manipulated him into killing the previous mayor, you know? Like, how wild would that be? So, I want to kind of go up there, because there were a couple of uh, enemies I dropped up here. And they're going to have stuff I want, for sure. Um, so who are these people? Yeah, it is Maelstrom. Okay. Can I just pick up this crappy assault rifle? Of course not. Right, another access point type deal here, but why don't we check it out first? And nothing on it again? Okay. There's a new shard here. Let's give this a read. Uh, hidden user. We need unrestricted movement, but there's some excess baggage slowing us down. Can you take care of it? Uh, Dante, double the going rate and we'll talk. Hidden user, fine, sending you the coordinates. Take the baggage, blow it to smithereens and make it disappear. We don't want this coming back to us. Understand? Uh, and Dante, when I end something, it stays that way. I don't know what that has to do with anything we're doing right now.
You know, I kind of miss Skippy already. But that's okay. Why don't we go ahead and give Elizabeth a call? V, do you have any news? Uh, they're messing with your heads. Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, uh... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait! Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. All right. So we'll go ahead and meet her at the ramen shop. How far away is that? Pretty far. But we'll go ahead and uh, run to this uh, fast travel place and get over there. But that's going to have to wait for next time because I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.